Welcome to the SPSS demonstration video for Chapter 8, Tests for Significance, Z-Tests, and One-Sample T-Tests. I'm the author of your text, Richard Landers. In this video, we'll actually not be exploring Z-Tests because SPSS is not capable of doing a Z-Test, uh, as we noticed when we were looking at confidence intervals back in Chapter 6. However, it can do one-sample T-Tests, so we'll be focusing our efforts instead on research questions 2 and 3 uh, of the data set that was discussed in your text. That, those focus on the compassion and child care variables. Uh, so the first of these is research question two, and we actually need to do one sample t-tests one at a time here, so we'll cover them one by one. We use that same analyze compare means one sample t-test option that we use to compute confidence intervals uh, back in chapter six, but this time we're actually interested in, the, uh, in other parts of the output that we ignored last time. We'll start with the compassion variable. The test statistic, the population mean given uh, in, the, in the research question was 55. So we actually insert that value here uh, so that we test against that test value. Child care is, uh, the test against child care is in fact 67, which means that we can't do this in the same test. If we hit OK, the output pane pops up and we get the results of our test. In this case, we can see that t equals 0 0.05, and the, the two-tailed p-value is 0.961. So in order to convert a two-tailed p-value into a one-tailed p-value, uh, you must simply divide that number in half. So we end up with about 0.48-ish. Uh, so either way, this is not a statistically significant result. Uh, p is definitely not less than 0.05. Uh, however, you would report the exact p-value by dividing this number in two with a calculator uh, and then reporting that value directly. Let's now look at research question three and see if there are any differences there. Again, one sample t-test, we get rid of compassion and go into child care, and we change this to 67. We get our second set of output here. t is negative 4.09, and the significance is 0.000. .000. However, something odd is going on here uh, because the T statistic is actually in the opposite direction. So note that because the T statistic is in the opposite direction, that even though the two-tail value is less than 0.05, the one-tail value is not. When the mean, when the observed mean is in the wrong direction, the opposite direction from what is hypothesized, that you always, do, you always lack statistical significance in those scenarios. So we can already say because we have a right-tailed test, because we're looking for a positive t-statistic, since we found a negative t-statistic, we already know this is not statistically significant. P is greater than 0.05 in this case. So since neither of these was statistically significant, we don't really look at effect sizes. But if you did want to look at effect sizes, you could look at this other table to get some of your information. We have the means and standard deviations reported there, and you would use that information uh, in computing your effect sizes. So that's it. We've now conducted one sample t-test in SPSS. That is it for Chapter 8.